Hey, what's happening YouTube? This is Runner, and this is my post-fight reaction to UFC 144 in Japan. I'm um, just going to start off on the main card, which are the fights that I saw. Um, Anthony um, Pettis uh, finishes Joe Lozon via first round TKO, or KO, whatever you want to call it. Um, Hatsu, Hatsui Sayoki, um, Hayoki, uh, versus, well, he won anyway, he won via decision. Uh, I say it with two rounds to one, he won the first and the third, and uh, Bart Palasescu, Palaseski, uh, one number round two. Um, Yushino Kami versus Tim Boge. Uh, very, 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 very good comeback from Tim Boge. Um, basically, two rounds, uh, Okami dominated him. His striking looked far better. He was quicker. He was landing more shots. Then, third round comes. Um, Boge gets a little incentive from his corner. He says, if you catch him, if you hit him, you can catch him, you can finish him. And that's what he did. He finished him, finished him decisively in the third round. And it was very impressive. Um, Oka no, um, Akiyama versus Jake Shields. Jake Shields, the most awkward striker or awkward person in um, MMA. He, he's striking his paw, but this is what won him the fight. His striking was far superior. Um, he couldn't get uh, Akiyama down at all. Akiyama got him with a few judo throws in rounds one and two. Um, but yeah, in all in all, Jake Shields won that fight. But I, I think. Um, Jake Shields should go back to 185 um, and Akiyama probably retire or uh, go to a different um, different organisation because he's 4-0 or oh, he's 0-4 in his last four fights in the UFC and that's you've got to get cut from that so we'll see what happens and uh, Czech Congo versus Mark Hunt um, Czech Congo came out KG as he always does Mark Hunt landed a good few shots uh, first round TKO. What can I say? Czech Congo didn't look impressive. He never does. And well, should have been smart and took him to the ground. But that's what we got. Uh, Ryan Bader versus uh, Rampage Jackson. Uh, Rampage missed weight, and uh, Ryan Bader. Um, well, we'll start from the start. Uh, basically, Ryan Bader's last fight, he got forty-eight thousand for his fight. Um, Rampage got quarter of a million, and twenty percent purse that. Ryan Bader will get from Rampage will be more than what Ryan Bader would have got for this fight, um, his initial show money, but then he'll probably get about 150 grand um, for a win bonus and whatever else. But yeah, in this fight, uh, Ryan Bader, first round was a bit, was close. Uh, round two, uh, pretty much dominated um, by Ryan Bader, even though Rampage did get a slam, uh, slammed uh, Ryan Bader on his neck, pretty much. Um, yeah, but third round was pretty much Ryan Bader as well. Um, I was, wasn't surprised, surprised um, at all. Um, I think Dana White needs to have a big word with uh, Rampage. Obviously, he says he fights for money, but if you don't come in weight, and this main, this whole fight card was basically, it was on his shoulders kind of thing in a way because they were saying, oh yeah, Rampage, um, Rampage is back in in Japan, all sort of stuff, talk about pride and all that other stuff, and he just hasn't, well. It is what it is. Ryan Bader won. Um, was a, it wasn't a, a very eventful fight, but I don't think they give uh, Ryan Bader enough credit for his hands because he's got knockout power, and they were all they were talking about was uh, Rampage's knockout power. And now on to the main event: um, Ben Henderson versus Frankie Edgar for the light heavy or lightweight title. Um, first round pretty even. I couldn't really score it. Second round, I'd say Henderson. Um, he landed a really good up kick um, at the end of that round. Even though Frank Edgar got more takedowns and he landed more shots, um, the whole fight, I think Henderson was landing more powerful shots. He was marking Frank Edgar's face up. He was going for more submissions. Um, all in all, I think that um, Ben Henderson uh, was the better fighter all from start to finish. Um, subsequently, he's won um, the lightweight title. He won decisively. Um, I think quite a few of the judges had him uh, 49 to 46. Um, I had him about 49 to 46, yeah, something like that. Uh, but yeah, it was a good fight. Uh, very happy with the fight card. Um, well deserved. I think I knew he could do it from the start. Um, I predicted a fourth round submission, but fifth round decision or whatever. That's, I'm happy enough with that. So yeah, that's it really for that fight card. All in all, top to bottom, very good. Uh, very pleased and. Um, yeah, hopefully the UFC can put on more fight cards like this. I know March is very limited with uh, UFC events, but it is what it is. 
So that's my predictions. Let me know what you think to the fight card. Uh, post your comments below. Subscribe. And this is Runner signing out for my UFC post-fight reaction. Peace.